On this episode of Beer Canics Garage, we show you how to cold wrap your intake pipe. And your turbo <laughs> The idea of um, wrapping these bars is just to reflect some of the uh, some of the heat away. Uh, and to sound like an elephant. <laughs> that's right. Uh, yeah. So if you have never heard of like uh, gold wrap, heat shield, but as a tape, all of the heat radiations that come from your engine, this will reflect up to eighty percent of it, compared to like black parts that you know everybody know absorb it. If you want it to look good. You need to do it the way we are going to show you, which is basically, in a very short manner, you cut a lot of thin stripes and you overzelly them nicely all over. And that way you can avoid having any creases. So it's nice and smooth. And everybody loves a smooth golden pipe. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so first step in anything that involves glue is uh, clean your surface down. So a nice little bit of IPA. And some uh, Batman underpants, always good. And Bosch, both of the parts are clean. Now what you need to do is do some measuring and some cutting. Gonna measure out the first bit. And then mark it up. So I'm gonna show you a bit easier. So if you work on the irregular pipe like that, which doesn't change much in diameter, but still change, go for the widest diameter and then you can use that as a mark on every stripe you do you know will be long enough and you know you can always trim a few millimeters you may have so from there. here we use a cardboard so basically we are going to make ourselves a little marker so that when we have more stripe to cut it will be nice and quick you don't have to go around the pipe every time to check okay so we've got it marked out and um, I'm just gonna do a, a very quick calculation to see roughly how much we'd need so right there so one two three four five six yeah roughly seven now we just need to go and cut seven stripes. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. That's not in the middle, is it? That's not anywhere in the middle. Come on, Lee, what's wrong with you? Nice. Come on, compare, compare. Did, oh, 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 good did you get it? They're well off. <laughs> I'll be better with the next one. It's nice, at least we'll have different width, it might become handy <laughs> anyway. There we go, we are all prepped. So we've got a small pile here to go for our turbo elbow. And the bigger pile obviously to go for the inlet pipe. Anyway, let's get... Uh... Let's have a go. Yeah. Okay, so now that we are all set, our tape is ready, our pipe is ready. So the way we are going to actually tape it is obviously around, but we obviously need to create a small overlaps. So the way to create your overlaps depends on which way your pipe is going to be aiming. So our pipe is this way. So what we want to end up is with that kind of pattern. This is basically to avoid seeing the shape. So as a general rule, if your part is pointing that way, or at least you're looking at it in that direction, you start taping from the back of the part going forward. That way each part will overlap the one behind. And you will still get little lines, but it will be a lot smoother. So uh, that's what we are going to do. All right, so uh, let's get started. Obviously, another tip as well, we are going to wrap around and you will get a little joint at the back where they join. 
So if your part is facing like that, you want your joint to be underneath. For the best look, you basically want to be able to hide most of the part where the tape actually join. So here, because we took at the widest bit, we are going to have a bit of an excess here. We can just retrim as we go. That's a bit too much, and some of that we might be using over there. So again, our pipe is like that. So we're going to start about there. Remove it like any other tape. Helps if you've got nails. Yeah. On the edge. As you can see, we already have a bit of a mark in it, so when we take it, those bits we sort of want to like pull and stretch a bit, and see, it's all gone. Excellent. So you can stretch out the creases. That's right. That's, that's good. Not perfectly lined up though, so let's lift up. There we go. Look at that. After the silicone will move a bit, so it might not be perfect to line up, but you can always trim. That's your first bit down without any creases. We've got a bubble of air here, just popping out. Next one, let's take one of the thinner ones. A smaller one. Yeah, a thinner piece might have been better actually. Yeah. No, it bores me. <laughs> <laughs> so you go guys. So that's a good way to test. We thought we had enough. But what we can do is just grab one on a thin one. Go with your high tech roller. <laughs> Put this one in half. Basically, don't be scared to cut into smaller pieces. And there you go. As you can see, if you look this way, which will be the back way, you can see the overlap. Or if you look this way, the overlap is a lot smoother. Yeah, it's a lot harder to see. And basically, now you continue until you're all done. And uh, we are going to spare you all that work and just bring you back to when this pipe is done. I'll show you the result. Got one bit done. That one obviously, uh, you know, is a bit trickier with the sensor locator and stuff. It's not perfect. But uh, it was a lot trickier than you think. For this one, you just take small bit. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then you try to escape. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this part, you know, you spend as much effort as you want, but, uh, you know, once it's set up inside the car, you won't see it. So, but to be honest, I'm quite pleased with the result. Not bad, not bad. At least gain an extra uh, 0.1 brake horsepower there. <laughs> And he's working on his golden pipe that is yeah, yeah. well placed. <laughs> I've actually found it's been slightly easier to um, measure out where it's going to finish, but actually start on this top bit and then work your way under. Got a couple of bits of cut tape. <laughs> and here we go. We're all done. Wasn't hard. <laughs> it's not perfect, but you know we've got quite a. That's quite a flexible part. If you had the proper hard part, it'd probably be easier. And this obviously was a bit fiddly with all those bits here and there. But overall, I think uh, we did a good job. Here you go, guys. All done. Lovely golden pipe. <laughs> I 
Oh, well, jealous now. <laughs> <laughs> Not of the pipe. <laughs> Just been able to do that. And uh, yeah, I mean, obviously, we won't get much performance gain, uh, but it does reduce the temperature inside the tube a little bit. There is a lot of people who argue, ah, oh, yeah, but with the velocity at which it goes into it, uh, the hair doesn't have time to warm up enough, you know, but... It looks good anyway. It looks good anyway, and uh, why do they bother uh, in motorsport to cover all of their stuff with that stuff, including up to the intake? Mm. After, it probably makes bigger difference on the track, and you're really hammering it. But because we eventually want to go to the track, especially to the track strip with a lot of our vehicle, so it's possible that, you know, when they do launch after launch after launch, what doesn't make a difference every day makes a little difference on the track or the track strip, and, you know, can be the difference between getting an extra two uh, cents of a second on, you know, maybe you're under your 11, and you're under your 12 or whatever, so... So yeah, you know, it makes your stuff all shiny. It does, looks really nice. And um, yeah, one of those rolls actually did did the whole lot. <clears throat> We've still got a little bit of it left as well. There's a couple of off cuts on the floor. Yeah, yeah, and you've got a yeah, quite little bit of a half cut, a couple of stripes that we put down and took off again. Uh, but yeah, overall it's, it's quite easy, uh, you know, and uh, yeah. I really think overall, nice result as well. Yeah, and again, bad. this is one of those modes where this is us doing it for the first time. Yeah, so if, if we can get it looking like that. Again. If you can do it, you can too. Absolutely. And this, you know, rather cheap. We'll obviously put a link in the description. I think this one was from Awesome GTI, but we'll put a link in the description. Be careful uh, if you do go for that mod don't just buy the cheapest gold tape you can find on ebay or whatever because you know it's not because it's gold that it's got the heat protection uh, capabilities of the proper stuff on the proper stuff i think it was like might even be 20 pound per roll and uh, yeah we've got another roll and it's still quite a bit of pipe you know it's quite Quite thickness there, so uh, yeah, yeah, very good. All right, then like and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye yeah, then. bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. <laughs> yes. This episode of Beer Phoenix Garage will heat up my exhaust pipe. <laughs> 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 I'll just smile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's sport. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> <laughs> this is like that. Boo! <laughs> 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 the people that wish they could do that. <laughs>